Welcome to the course, Navigating the Interface. This course is designed for new users just getting started with the Bentley Civil Software Products Open Site Designer, Open Roads Designer, and Open Rail Designer. Since each of these products feature the same ribbon-based interface, this will apply to all those products. In this course, you're going to learn how to open a file. You're going to learn how to work with the ribbon interface. You're going to learn how to review civil data how to set up views and review various models, as well as how to analyze civil data. So let's begin. Understanding the interface and knowing where to find the appropriate tools is a must. In this lesson, you're going to learn about the ribbon tabs, workflows, quick access toolbar, the search ribbon, and the backstage. For this video, I'm going to be using Open Roads Designer Connect Edition 2020 Release 2. To start the software, Locate the icon on your desktop and double click on it. This will launch the software. Once the software is open, this will bring us to the main page. From the main page, we need to select the proper workspace and the proper work set before we get started. The workspace and the work set are delivered with the product as a standard install. For this particular training course, we're going to be using the Training and Examples workspace and the Training Imperial work set. A workspace is a set of files and configuration variables that define the settings to be used in a work session. You can think of the workspace as being your agency configurations or your company's configurations. A work set, on the other hand, can be thought of as project-specific configurations and standards relating to a specific project. So let's begin by setting the workspace and the work set. So navigate to the top of the screen where it says no work set. And from the drop down menu, select Training and Examples. And then to the right of that, from the drop down under the Work Set options, select Training Imperial as the Work Set. From here, we're going to browse to an existing file that already has some information in it. So select the Browse button, navigate to the Bentley Training folder, browse to the Navigating the Interface folder, and locate the geometry.dgn file. This is an existing geometry file that has our project's data already in it. So let's go ahead and open that. Select Open. Once the file is open, let's take a moment to review the data inside the file. So this particular file is just the geometry for the project. So it basically has the centerline alignments for our particular roadways. But there's other civil data that has been referenced in, things such as the terrain model as well as corridors. In the software, projects generally federate and reference data by type, segment, or phase. So now let's take a look at the ribbon and the workflows. So as you can see here, the ribbon is a very familiar looking interface, very similar to what you would find in Microsoft Office products. Tools can be accessed by a variety of ribbons and are arranged by workflows, which are selected from the top pull down menu here. When you change the workflow, it will adjust each of the ribbon tabs and give you access to different tools and commands. So let's take a look at how this works. Right now I'm in the drawing workflow and all the tools available in the drawing workflow are in the available tabs that you just click on at the top of the screen. To change the drawing workflow to get to different set of tools such as the ones that would be used with Open Roads Designer, go to the workflow and select Open Roads Modeling Workflow. That will change the ribbon and the tabs, and it will be presented with a different set of tools. Clicking on each tab will give you access to each of the tools. Notice the ribbon is broken up into ribbon groups and ribbon tabs. All the commands are in each of the ribbon groups. To navigate through the tabs, you can simply select them by left clicking on each one of them. You can also use the middle mouse wheel to scroll through each tab. You can also expand and collapse the ribbon if you need more room. And you can double click on each one as well to expand and collapse the ribbon. You also have the ability to customize the ribbon if needed. Sometimes there's tools that you just don't need. To customize the ribbon, all you have to do is simply do a right click. And you can add and remove tools to ribbon groups and other areas of the ribbon. There's also a search ribbon. In the upper right corner of the screen, 
you can search for tools and commands. For example, if we were looking for the arc commands, all we'd have to do is simply key in arc, and then you'll be presented with all the arc commands. When you hover your cursor over one of the commands, you'll see there's a path to where the command is located, as well as a direct link to the particular tool. So for this example, key in arc, locate arc between points, select that, and it will launch the arc between points tool. Makes it very easy to get access to particular tools that you're searching for. The next part of the ribbon I want to take a look at is the quick access toolbar. Located at the top of the screen, you'll see familiar tools such as open, save, save settings, compress, undo, redo, set mark, and print. These are available in all of the workflows. Another key area that we want to take a look at is the backstage area or the backstage view. To gain access to the backstage view, simply click the file button. This will change our view and you will see here we have some other familiar file options. We have new, open, save, save as, save setting, send email, close, tools, settings, properties, print, import, export, as well as help. So let's take a look at the help. Select help. And from here you have all the help resources that you would need. You have links to the online help contents. We have links to Connect Advisor. We have a direct link to the Bentley Institute Learn Server, as well as the Open Roads Designer Community. Experiment and click on each one of these and review your options. Once you're done, simply press the arrow at the top of the screen to return to the main view. When you're working with files in the software, it's always important to know what the working units are. The working units are derived from the seed file that is chosen when a new file is created. You should always be aware of the proper working units for your project. So let's take a look at how we can review the working units of this particular design file. So once again, I'm going to navigate over to the Backstage view, click on the File tab, I'm going to go down into Settings, we're going to go into File, we're going to go into Design File Settings, and we're going to scroll down to the Working Units area here. Here is where you can see the working units for our file, as well as the advanced units of resolution. Let's go ahead and adjust the linear units here. So I'm going to adjust my linear units so the accuracy reads out to four decimal places. And this will be used for measuring and other things like that. Now observe the format is set as master unit. This displays the master unit value, which is set to US survey feet. Labels shown do not affect measurements, but they may be used for coordinate readout, labeling, and, and dimensioning. The advanced settings define the real world units of resolution. And in this case, US survey feet. It's always important to be aware of what the uh, units are set for in your particular file. Once you're done reviewing the information, simply select OK. Now let's take a look at adjusting your mouse button assignments. For this particular course, we're going to adjust the mouse button assignment so that the middle mouse button can be used for snaps. So now let's navigate over to the user preferences. Go to the button assignments and select that. And then come over here and select remap buttons. What we want to do is we want to map our middle mouse button so that it can be used for a tentative snap. Come over here and select tentative, and then select your middle mouse button and click into the button definition area here. That will make the middle mouse button available for tentative snaps. Once you're done, click OK, select Save, and then from here, go ahead and select the arrow in the upper left portion of the screen to return to the main view. Performing a right click, or selecting the Element Selector tool will cancel the Arc Between Points tool. Now that you understand how to use the ribbon interface, in the next video we'll take a look at how to use the Element Selection tool to get different types of information from the civil data inside this file. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.